Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm making Rocky Road fudge. Now, I'm doing this a little bit different because I want to ensure that this Rocky Road fudge is totally gluten-free. Also, some people use uh, sweetened condensed milk. I replace that with peanut butter. Here's what we got. Now, this cake pan has been cleaned, covered with foil, and then lined with parchment. I just want to make sure there's no cross-contamination. Brand new tin for Arthur's goodies. Now these pecans, believe it or not, I put them in a colander or a sieve and I wash them, rubbing them together uh, under hot water and then I pour boiling water over them and then I put a foil lined cookie sheet in the oven and I toasted them at 215 degrees for an hour just to be safe. Everything else is uh, all gluten free and completely in their packages. My stove has been cleaned, the pot, the bowl, everything's been cleaned so that there's no contamination. This is a fresh jar of just peanuts, peanut butter, unopened. We have to open and stir it. We have butterscotch chips, milk chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and marshmallows and pecans. Let's get started. Okay, I have a pot of water here and a bowl and I'm going to use this as a double boiler to melt stuff. Now we're going to save the butterscotch chips. Yes folks, even my scissors have been washed. Um, we're going to save the butterscotch chips to mix in at the end. There is semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now I'm going to be saving some of this for other folks too, but this is just a precaution. This is the one gluten-free dessert I can make for my son for the holidays. Package of milk chocolate chips. And my pan is a 9 by 13 I guess. Now we're going to open this peanut butter and I have to stir it because it has oil on the top. Also, even my spatula has been cleaned and it's one piece silicone so now that we've stirred this peanut butter I'm going to put half this jar or approximately one cup in with these chocolate chips all right we're going to shut the water off because we want this to completely melt but we don't want it hot, you understand? And I never thought if you want your um, chippets to r remain in pieces, then uh, you can freeze them first. All right, now we're gonna add in, I don't know, but a cup of pecans. And more. We're going to stir those in to help it cool down a little bit. Now, the marshmallows will probably melt the quickest. So, we're going to put those in. Those are the butterscotch chips. And then in goes a full bag of mini marshmallows. Some people like to use the colored fruity ones. I don't. And then we're just going to stir this all in together, getting all the chocolate off the bottom. You want to be quite quick because we, you know, you want it to look like a rocky road, not just a slab, right? So you want all the textures in there. Now. We're just going to put it all in this 9 by 13 pan. Now you can decorate this with sprinkles to make it more festive. Maybe I should have saved some of the butterscotch chips to put on top. And I'm going to cover this with foil and pop it out in the freezer to chill. We're going to cover this with a piece of foil. 
to keep any contaminants out. And this is going into my vegetable freezer. Why is this going into my vegetable freezer? Because it has no bread products or flour products. It's the one freezer I don't have any bread or flour products in. All right, we'll be back when this is chilled and ready for slicing. All right, so here is our Rocky Road fudge. Now I've got everything. This is a brand new tin with brand new parchment because this is going to my gluten-free celiac sun. We're gonna take this all out of the pan, just like this. And we're gonna fill Arthur's tin. This is still uh, slightly frozen. Very frozen, actually. Uh. The white one for the, it's the blue light. This is, I'm going to have this piece. Oh, mm. Trim the ends. Okay, once I have Arthur's, all right, so we're just going to fill his tin here. You can arrange it if you want, but I kind of like it just getting all tossed in there. And then I will tape this shut. Honey, do you know where the packing tape is? And then we will tape his tin shut with packing tape to make sure nothing gets in. And then it can go in the freezer until we go to visit them and hope I don't forget it. All right, so there is Arthur's Rocky Road Fudge. Did you find me the packing tape? And now I'm going to seal this with packing tape. Not that that would have stopped Briar a few years ago. You might want, you want to cut this when it's still partially frozen because it's something you do want to keep fairly cold. Been there, done that twice. Now, unfortunately, Howie's not going to be able to thumbs up this Rocky Road fudge because he's already had two pieces off camera. Unless I give you an itty bitty little piece. Hang on. Hey, hey, hey. Awesome. It is good, isn't it? But I can't have no more. You can't have no more. Actually thought he was reaching in for a piece. Them all up. Drop down in there. Let's just see if we can get this all in that tub and into the freezer. <clears throat> I'd hate to have to dirty another bigger tub, but I think we're going to be okay. And there it is our Christmas Rocky Road Fudge. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Rocky for Old Fudge, gluten-free, and a yearly favorite. Take care, God bless. Merry, happy, ho-ho.